to be productive. Sometimes we have to turn our negative emotions, you know, around. We just celebrated the life and legacy of my mom, August the second, just a couple of days ago. We did a clothes and toy, uh, my family and I. We did a clothes giveaway. You know, because on that day, if you're not doing something productive, you know, those emotions would be all over the place. So we didn't have time for that to happen because we were hot. We was out in the sun. We were busy. You know, we're putting clothes on racks. We're celebrating. People were coming out, embracing us. We were eating a lot of food, you know, enjoying family. You know, so I encourage those of you who are grieving, just find a way to turn your negative emotions around. You know, so that was one thing I was dealing with was my grief. And I started thinking about, God, thank you. Thank you for helping me overcome. Yes, I still grieve. You know, when you love someone, you never get over that. You just find a way to manage it better. So I was thanking God for that. You know, and as we spoke on today, molestation. You know, and I thought about I, how far I had come in my life. Just, you know, although it was there <laughs> mentally, I wasn't there physically anymore. So I thank God for that. So just different things that had happened in my life. You know, bad marriages. And I just one day said, I looked around and God is good. He's always been good. But you know, he brought me from a mighty long way. And I said, God, thank you. Because I have truly reclaimed my life. So my daughter here with me, she's an editor and she owns her own publishing company, um, Empower Her Publishing. So really I was inspired to do a book because you know, we support each other in everything we're doing. And I said, I want my book to be reclaiming my life. Amen. You know, and actually I did an e-book first and it was the comeback. Mm -hmm. The comeback, reclaiming my life. And I said, you know what, God, I know I'm not the only one who has gone through some trials and trauma. So I'm going to put it out there and Amen. see who would join me in being brave enough to share some trials and trauma that they have experienced, how they overcame and reclaimed. And as you all see, I ended up with some beautiful, amazing women that were brave enough to share their testimony. And I know Ursula hasn't come up, but she definitely, she shared. She shook her head, no. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> she shared how she was on drugs over 20 years ago. Thank you. How she got off drugs and reclaimed her life. Amen. You know, and this is what it's all about. You know, we took it even further after our book launch. We ended up doing a podcast. Podcast is still going. It's called Reclaiming My Life. You can catch us every Sunday night on SM Enlightenment Radio. That's 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we're talking about things like um, emotional affairs. Okay? You know, we don't, you, when we say affairs, we're, we're thinking it was a physical affair. But you can have an affair and it be emotional. Amen. You're giving somebody all of your time and your energy and you start feeling a certain way. You're having an affair. We talk about bullying. How do, you know, we reclaim after being bullied? How do you reclaim after, you know, um, you've been cheated on? We talk about a lot of different topics. Y'all just don't have to catch us on Radio. <laughs> 8 p.m. every Sunday night, okay? We're also on PraiseByGrace.net. Am I throwing it out here? Yes. PraiseByGrace.net, okay? Every Saturday, 10 a.m. and 10 p.m. PraiseByGrace.net. Y'all got it? Yes. Tune in. Yeah. <laughs>